Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. The podcast. Hey, Melbourne. Morning, Melbourne. 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 Morning, Melbourne. Hey, Melbourne. Melbourne. Chrissy Swan, Sam Payne and Jonathan Brown. This is Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Melbourne's funniest breakfast show. (laughs) Well, good morning, Melbourne. And what a thrill. Dave O'Neill. Nice and early, I'm here. Filling Uncle in, Dave. Filling I'm here. in for Brownie, who's uh, still uh, in Hamilton at his uh, uncle's funeral. Mm, mm. Valet. He oh. drove there yesterday. It was a four-hour drive, and he called me to stay awake. Yeah. So who are you going to call if you want to stay awake? You Dino. Call, call I'll, Dino. I'll chew your ear off. The pistol. I'll give you some... Some well, awakening any words. Any topics to, you talked about? Like Service station food was a big oh, one. Oh, yeah. yeah. We talked yeah. about death. That What's, was quite... That's, that's, quite, that's <laughs> interesting. What's your go-to at the servo? Uh, the uh, cheese sausage, if they have it. But I love oh. a potato top pie. Oh, oh yeah. Like shepherd's pie. What are you guys going? I go there. I went... Uh, I drove to... Where did I drive last week? Quambatook? Was that the yes. week before? Yes. I, I got those service station dimmies. Oh, brother. Oh. And they were so good. The next time I drove somewhere, I got them again and they weren't as good. Yeah. Like, totally different towns and totally different servos. That's mm-hmm. sad. Mm-hmm. That had mm-hmm. been there too long. So yeah. I'm very boring. I always, at a servo, get an egg and lettuce sandwich. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, not boring. Isn't it? Delish. And I get uh, such a rush of excitement. Yeah. Now, speaking of stuff in a shiny Bain Marie, yeah. didn't you and Pangy go to a chook shop yesterday? Oh, yeah, we went to the chicken shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, we did. I still haven't we been did. with you. Oh, you haven't. You've got to come along. And it was so funny. We were sitting there and some guy s- sitting goes, excuse me, are you Dave O'Neill? And I went, yeah, I am. And he goes, yeah, I recognise your voice. And I go, this guy here... He's in charge of the Dim Sims. <laughs> there it is. It's a bit of casual racism. Uncle Dave's here. Uncle Dave's here. <laughs> Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Whether you've been craving the ocean, snow, mountains or city lights, there are so many possibilities for you and your next trip. Make up for missed holidays and explore more of Oz with whatif.com. Jump online or on the What If app. What If? It's Aussie for travel. It's myself, Swanee and Dave this morning. JB's what? at a funeral. Pang's not working yeah, Friday. He was at the chicken shop yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I said, are you coming tomorrow? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, he's got stuff on, apparently. One more thing on chicken, Swanee. Someone messaged me on Instagram, a listener, and said, we're talking about the bagged hot chooks at Woolies. Yeah. yeah the, he... the bachelor's handbag. Yes. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. Sorry, I'm broken. Have you heard that? Never heard yeah, of that. The bachelor's handbag. handbag. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, sorry. Um, so I'm a, bit, I'm a bit tired because I was hosting the Smooth FM trivia night last night. Yes. <laughs> Where was it? Who was there? Was at the museum. Mm. And Classy. Yeah. Oh, Mel Doyle, Richard Wilkins was there. Oh, Dickie. God, they flew in some talent. Cameron Dado was there. Wow. Some Diaz, Perso, what? of course. And, oh, like, and I saw the great Ty Frost here on Ty site. Ty Frost. He was there. Did he sing? Yeah, he sang. Oh, oh, what did he sing? He sang, he did the Spicks and Specs game where he sings out of a book and you've got to guess the tune. Oh, my God. He would have loved that. Oh, he he loved had it. a great voice. He's wearing a speckled scarf. Of oh, course yeah. he was. Um, of course, it's at the museum, so Richard Wilkins introduced me, so I came on straight away. I went, Richard Wilkins, ladies and gentlemen, well, he's part of the exhibition here at the <laughs> museum. <laughs> <laughs> Zinged him. Who had, uh, him. Who had bigger big dick energy, Dado or Wilkins? No, Wilkins. Yep. Wilkins. Sure. Wilkins. Sure. Sure. Dado's a very fine-looking man, isn't he? He sure he's is. He's very dapper. Yeah. He's very dapper. He looked like he, he looked like a billionaire or something. Like, yeah. I think he was wearing a cravat. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, just like... he's just one of these very fortunate people that was born beautiful. Yeah. And has miraculously gotten better looking the older he gets. Son of and a bitch. he was magnificent when he was young. Fine specimen, as I said, as he came And a say. lovely guy. Big hands. Big hands, nice hair. Yeah. Former, former host of Perfect Match, for anyone who remembers, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. second version. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna, do you want to throw on some trivia? Yeah, yeah I do. I know, I know, I reckon you'd be good at trivia. Was it, I am. Was it for listeners or for No, it was for corporate? the yeah, sales people. Okay. Sales. Mm-hmm. They, they were all getting into it. The band was great. Oh, Fair oh. warning, I'm not a competitive person. Mm-hmm. Not, not really? No, not at all. Well, but yeah, compete against me, Dino. Put me in a trivia night yeah. and I want to win. Your what name, your the name's weirdest a, thing? Your name's are your buzzers. Chrissy. Oh, okay, question one. This is easy. Reginald Dwight stage name. Oh, yep. Elton John. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, Dana, here we go. <laughs> question two. What is Adele's last name? Chrissy. Oh, no. shit. Oh, yes. Ad- Ad- Adkins. Oh, my oh, God, God. You're she's good. good. She's good. You're good. Did you know that? No. Mm-hmm. This is hard. This is hard. I just okay. want to win one. Yeah, okay. What main guitarist was told by the lead singer to shut the hell up and get out? 
Was it the guitar from the Travelling Wilburys, Go West, Fleetwood Mac, or Bon Jovi? Have a crack, Dino. Dino, Bon Jovi. Yes. Yes. Oh, well done. Yes. Oh, oh. I guess. And this is a good one. I didn't know this. Which pop star played 27 instruments on their debut album For You? Oh. For You. For You, debut album. Would have been a while ago. Oh, Kate Bush. No. Damn it, that was a good guess, Dean. Good guess, Dean, eh? <laughs> I don't know. Prince. Of course. Ah, oh, of, of course. What a ge- mad genius. Mad a purple prince. Mm. Who wrote the song Whitney Houston had a massive hit? I will always Dean love Chrissy. You. But Dolly Parton. Oh, Dolly Parton. Hang but, on, we're, we're but Dolly Parton. Too all. Too, too, too all. That's may too I all. offer you a tidbit? Oh, you may. I've you offered may. this before, but not everybody listens to every second of the show, so you may have missed it. Dolly wrote Jolene and I Will Always Love You on the same day. That's right. That's freak stuff. She's magic. And my favourite fact about Dolly Parton, how she met her husband. So her husband owns an asphalt business. Mm. She was at the laundromat. She went outside for some air. He drove past in a truck, mm. yelled out from his truck, Hey, pretty lady. They got talking, got married, fell in love. Are you <laughs> for real? That's how and they they're met. still together. Real. Mm. Bit of a tip for you today, Dino. Just yeah. wind the window down. Oh, and yell at women. Girls at tram stops. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, we love that. I <laughs> oh, do? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I will I will try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want another one? Yeah, yeah, one more. Okay, all right, all right. Who was the female lead singer of the American hip-hop group, the Fugees? Chrissy. Yeah. The great woman, Laura Neal. Oh. Laura Neal. Well done. Hey, back to the Smooth FM party. Were people getting juiced all around the artefacts at the museum? That's that's trouble, man. Yeah. That, there was the, the big, like, whale, huge skeleton, and they have security guards. And oh, stuff. it's and, a dinosaur. Um, yeah, it's a huge dinosaur. Mm. And, and again, as someone said, well, have you seen Richard Wilkins? I said, he's over there. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> that's a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> race. This is the Chrissy Salmon Brownie Podcast. Time for the home. Quiz are the voiceover guys just getting here now. What are you doing, man? I'm just getting my pieces of paper. Oh. It's, it's always worth the wait. Yes. Do a quick Arnie to Dave. Say hi, Uncle Dave as Arnold. Hi, Uncle Dave. Yes. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's what, great. What can Carol. people win today, brother? Well, today they can win a Master Pro 12-in-1 multi-cooker. These are actually fantastic. I've got one at home. Unfortunately, I spelt sauce all through the machine. Aww. Anyway, that's what you can win. What a great time. Hey, it's great to see you, voiceover guy. Yeah, I feel brother. like it's been a million years. Well, you know, it's been a while. Yes. You've kept in the booth. You're in the booth a lot, aren't you? Yes, it is. Uh, pretty bleak, Dave. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> We've worked together for seven years. You look no different than you do than you did the first ah, day. I'm uh, a well, bit greyer. Yeah. I don't think you are. You don't, you don't got much grey. Oh, no, I've got the Mr. Sheffield <laughs> sweep. Let's meet our callers. Oh, uh, yes, I'm looking. Oh, God, this is. We're talking to Ricky from Greenvale. No, we're not. Zach and Lang Lang. You're Thank playing. you. There Chris... we go. This screen's tiny. Chrissy's playing for Good you. Good morning. Hey, brother. Are you confident in Chrissy's abilities? Yeah, I am. Why not? Good on you, Go for it, Chrissy. Go for it. Brad and Warrigal, Dave's your man. Oh. Hey, how are you, Brad? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going well. Mate, Warrigal. Love Warrigal. It says here, Dave is playing for Brad from Warrigal. He has red hair. (laughs) Is that true, Brad? You've got red hair? Yeah, mate. The old sauce nuts. Mate, I love it. Phone. Sauce nuts. Sauce nuts. Well, as I, I said to the kid in Karaya the other day, he had red hair. You can't go into McDonald's. The kids all think Ronald's turned up. Okay. You know I mean? like, all right. Sauce nuts. I think the whole city's <laughs> barracking for Fanta pants. you a buzzer check, please. I love pasties. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you love them. I love pasties. Where are the 2026 Commonwealth Games being held? I love pasties. Yes. Yeah. Melbourne. Ben. Yeah. Well, oh. sorry. Swanee Moore in Oh, Port? regional uh, Victoria. Correct. We'll give that to Where you, Dave. That? I was in Ballarat and Bendigo, Shep. That's interesting. Yeah, Maui. Whatever. A group of camels are called oh. a. <laughs> Interestingly, a caravan. Oh, yeah, of course. Caravan of love. Eh, <laughs> Which the sorry, what was that? Dave? The Caravan of Love. It's just a famous song. I just, okay. it's, you know, yeah, it is a famous song. Yeah, Who's it by? The House Martins, yeah, but it's a cover. Cool. Which AFL? You tell you what, when Shit. I was in Rosebud, that Jayco, that was a Caravan. All oh, right, right. Thank I bet you. it was <laughs> very useful information. <laughs> Hot diggity. Which AFL team have been under scrutiny? I love past. Yes, yeah. the Crows. Yes, mate. What I'd was... like to apologise, Eddie Betts, personally. You would? Oh, I just think we should. Yeah. I mean, he's a nice guy. Okay, thank you again, yeah. Dave. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, and Anna DeArmas all star in the which Netflix smash hit? I can't 
can't remember. Chris Evans. So he's yeah, Captain that, America. Uh-huh. It's that new... And Anna de... The Armist? It's a new... The Marvel? We needed Grey Man. Grey Man. Mm. 2 nil. Wow, this is enough really... About, enough about voiceover guys here. <laughs> <laughs> On which... Con- enough, enough about Richard Wilkins. <laughs> Order. <laughs> he, On which a fine specimen. Which continent would you find the Cayman Islands? Well, hang on, that's a trick question. Oh! Maybe Africa? No. Uh, the, the Cayman Islands are off America. Off, uh, North, America. North America, technically. America, yeah, yeah. So it goes, if, uh, for more info, it goes Miami, Cuba, Cayman Islands. Oh. And that's where you go to hide all that sweet cash. Yeah. Speaking of Richard Wilkins. Uh, what, is, <laughs> what is the square root of 121? Chrissy Swan. Oh! Thank God, Samantha's. 2 1. Manu, My Kitchen Rules reboot is being hosted by who? Chrissy Swan. I'm going to say Manu. And? And Nigella. Wilson. Correct, Swanee. Two apiece. This is the grand final for the win. Two for Fanta Pants. Come on. <laughs> Thank It's Sauce Nuts. Thank you. <laughs> In which state is the Darling River for the win? Swanee. It's Queensland. Oh, oh the steal. The Darling. Yeah. The Darling River. Yes, brother. The that's Darling what I River, said. you say. Yes. You said Queensland. Yeah. I I'm, I'm saying. Pff, well, I don't know. Would you have said Queensland? Come no, on, I don't, Darling I, Downs. I don't, I don't know with the Darling. Oh, Just, New South Wales. Yes. Well, it's something say. that in a, in a in a result that nobody saw coming. No. Zach, I know, uh, Brad, you've won. What has Sauce Nuts won? Sauce Nuts has won a Master Pro 12 in Mon Multi Cooker. Master Pro 14 1 Professional Steel Multi Cooker was $2.99 on sale now at Minimax for $1.49. Wow, that's half price. Half price. Well done, Brad. I might get one of those. Me too. Brad, it's, it's like a slow cooker, kind of, is it? Or? It's a slow cooker, pressure cooker, rice cooker, and sous vide. Brad, do you do a bit of cooking, Brad? Oh, I do a little bit here and there, yeah. Well done, mate. Want to see what happens in the studio? Check it out on Facebook. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Yeah. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. No uh, JB today. Uh, Dave's here. Uh, which is a great news. Which is great news oh. for everybody. Um, there was a knife fight in Adelaide, which is, I mean, you know, happens. not that not that. Hindley Street, surely Hindley, near the, the metal balls in the Somewhere mall. Somewhere around there, sure. yeah. in the Rundle Mall. Rundle Mall. Um, and uh, news crews were on it and everything. Anyway, in the in the background, the person that broke it up, people are watching television going, he looks familiar. It's the one and only Dev Patel, who we fell in love with in Slumdog Millionaire and Dev then Patel. Lion. What? He lives in Adelaide. What? And really? He, yeah. And he was just out having dinner and then this fight erupted and he sorted it out and was a, a witness to it, etc. There's all this footage of the, the police there and he's just in the background like the superstar that he is. That's Dev Patel. Patel. Unbelievable. It's the Amazing. weirdest thing when you see somebody so familiar in an incongruous... Yeah. In, down the shops. Yeah, I remember yeah. once when I was in... But by the way, 132410, who lives in your suburb? Yeah. Who have you well, seen? And we'll take yeah. any level of celebrity. We'll take any level. I mean, we're not going to get, like, Dev Patel. No. But I remember I was buying some coriander in North Ballin in a tiny store... There was a tiny store just on Belmore Road. Oh, uh, the Belmore Shops. The Belmore Road Shops. Mm. And tiny, Dino. How like, tiny? Oh, like as big as this studio, really, with just a few potatoes and yep. whatever. But it was my local when I lived in North Baldwin. Yeah. And uh, I was buying some coriander. I remember it clearly and I looked up and guess who else was there? was only one other person in the store apart from the shopkeep. Uh, no. Uh, Cat Stevens. What? What? Cat Stevens? Cat Stevens. Whenever he's in Australia, he hires a house in North Baldwin. Wow, you must like, love a boring kind of life. <laughs> North boring. So there you go. If you live in North Baldwin and you Keep swear an eye out for you. over the last few years, you've seen a guy, because he walks too, he's a walker. No if you've seen a guy walking, you go, man, that, that you like, know, in any other universe, that, that would be Cat Stevens. It is Cat Stevens. That's incredible. I also, I live in the centre of the universe and I often see um, Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush. Okay. Um, mm. You know, the disgraced <laughs> actor. He doesn't look well, but I still see him. He's does he, around. Does he look like he wants to chat? No, he does not. Did Cat Stevens look like he wanted to Cat chat? Cat Stevens had an open face really? and was happy to chat. Oh. And yesterday I was crossing the road at night with my daughter. We went for a, a little, a quick walk. I had to get a few more kilometres and Peg's walking with me for Fred's big run. And uh, we were walking and uh, a car was waiting at the lights to go. I was right there. I tapped on the window. The great Paddy Newton. Big. 
Very oh, big. She's she's the centre of the universe too, isn't she? She sure is. So well, there's I'm, some big names. I'm in the inner north, so, you know. Andy we, Marr. I see Andy Marr down the cafe. Yes. From the front bar. Uh, Rod Quantock. Whoa. Captain Snooze. <laughs> he's, he's around me. That's big. Oh, man, we got to the old lefties, John Fain. Uh, How often radio. do you see uh, Captain Snooze? Slash oh, I've seen him a few Rod times in the shop. Also, Franklin Ajay. Oh, yeah. Franklin Ajay, who was a, a famous comic, and he was in Deadwood. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's in Deadwood. Uh, I can't believe that Dev Patel has picked Adelaide. I know. I well, know. his girlfriend lives there, so he's moved there for love. Gotcha. M- remember when uh, the piano player moved there and said he was going to live there? Ben Fultz. Ben Fultz moved to Adelaide. Yeah, man. And he's, he's still there. No, he divorced. Oh, right. He oh. divorced, but I think his kids are there. <laughs> right. Really, okay. As far as I know. 13, 24, 10. Oh, what, no, he divorced. What he divorced. Fa- what famous person or people live in your suburb? We're taking any level of fame. We'll take Pluck and Duck. Do you want to see what this looks like? We'll get the visuals on Instagram. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Dev Patel, who's a, uh, who's a proper... Hollywood, Star. Hollywood, A-list. superstar, Hollywood, A-list. Hollywood, A-list actor, slumdog billionaire, and lion lives in Adelaide. <laughs> in a Adelaide, sentence, it's a sentence I never thought that I would, I would say. Well, if you want a quiet if... life and you mm. got small children, mm. Adelaide'd be fine. He doesn't have small children. Mm. He's just he's he's got a partner, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just taking it easy. Who have you spotted in your suburb? Hi. Who do you who do you share oh. the borders with? Uh, Labrini, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Who do you uh, who do you live near? Uh, John Farnham. Oh, oh Jesus! Wonga Park. Wonga Park. Isn't it? This is big. This is big. Have you seen him in the wild? I haven't, but I have seen his wife. His wife, Mrs. Jill, Farnham. Jill, yeah. she is heaven. Jill. She said you're married Jill. to the voice. Do you know that? You know how you hear... <laughs> and she said, oh, am I really? I had no idea. She said, hey, keep the pressure down. You know your rumours about people. I heard that John Farnham has his own, like, fishing lake yeah, on his property. He, he does. I told you that. That's unbelievable. He yeah. He, he does. Just, Mate. And it's stocked full of fish. Yeah. Huge. He's got horses. Kath. No, not Dale Braithwaite, but he's got horses. <laughs> Kath and Eltham, what do you got? <laughs> oh, uh, Kerry Armstrong from Sea Chain. Oh, Kerry. Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty Where's good. Where's that? What's um, that? Eltham. Oh, Eltham. Does she, does she live in Eltham? Mm, oh, I, I don't so. know if she still does, but when I was younger, I used to work at Macca's, and once she actually touched my bum when I was changing the bin, I backed out, and she <laughs> touched my bum. So it was pretty wow. exciting. And, uh, and that was at the height of sea change, so it was pretty exciting. The police were notified. I remember, I, <laughs> Macca's is interesting, the people who come to Macca's. I remember the manager of Laylaw Macca's, mm told Brennan Favola yes. when he went in there that their captain of the Carlton football team, Lance Whitnell, he was the captain of Carlton, would come in every night. <laughs> really? The captain of Carlton. Which, oh, funny. yeah, your captain comes in every night. If you Google Lance Whitnell, that might not be a... He's a big boy. Surprise. He's a unit, is he? Yeah, but big, it, wor- big. It, it worked for him. Good on him. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Sarah. Oh, this is big. Sarah, where are you from, first of all? Uh, from Point Lonsdale. Okay, okay. Who, who's there? Who have you seen? The gorgeous Gabrielle Gatte. Oh, boy. Sacre bleu. Hang, Hang on a minute. I live near Gabrielle Gatte and I see oh, him. I saw him oh. last week at the market. His tree change. <laughs> I think he might, yeah, it'll see change. Well, point long, yes. surely some of the mighty cats live around there. Joel yeah. Selwood. He's around no. there. No. No. All, food, all foodies. All foodies. It must be hol- holiday time. Matt Preston. Yes, I've seen, I've, I did a gig down at uh, Bowen Heads and Matt Preston was there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Gabriel Gatte definitely doesn't live there. Okay. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I see him all the time. He's got a whole, he, he, she sees him. He's got a whole Mum. house. He must because yeah. he lives and in Surrey Hills. Sarah, you've been exposed as a liar, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Sarah, do you chat to him, do you, when you see him? I think you could because he has a lovely open smile when you walk he past him. He does, but, and he's yeah. always glassy-eyed. And I'm not saying he <laughs> likes the Hong Kongs, but... <laughs> on this very station... <laughs> yeah. He co- we did a show from Flinders Street and he cooked bull's testicles. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sacre bleu. He's Sacre the best. Bleu. You know what? Chewy. And he's a Frenchman, so... Sounds straight me in to me. Marcello from Kyneton. Again, uh, I'm going to have to really question this. Swanee's just not believing our call. No, because I live... I pass Who have Shana, you seen? Shana Blaze. I, li- I know where she lives. I walk Ma- past her house every day. Marcello, Marcello. have you seen Shana Blaze around yeah. Kyneton? Yeah, yeah, Shanna Blaze lives in Kyle and she's got a house there. 
Oh, see, it's probably a holiday house, Chrissy. Might be. That'd be so harsh. Because I know exactly fighting. where she lives. Also, these rich, rich people have two and three homes. Four yeah. homes. Five it homes. Oh. Uh, all right, let's finish with Jackie, and you're in Eltham, is that right? That's correct. Like, who we got? Uh, well, I've got the guy, Clive, from Neighbours, the guy oh in the God. gorilla suit. Jeff Payne. <laughs> That's it, him. Oh, you loved him on Neighbours. He was great. And I tell you, I had the hugest crush on Jeff Payne as a viewer. <laughs> he drove a station wagon. Yes. And he played a doctor. And he just had a beautiful face and that sort of strawberry blonde yeah. sandy hair. And what's he doing now uh, out in Alpha? Well, he's our, he's our local council member. Is so he? He's, yeah. he's a local councillor. Wow. Good he on him. on Facebook all the time. So, yeah, we just watched him on the reruns. Like, hey, that's our local member oh, on, cool. the, on the finale. Jackie, yeah. he got a lot of airtime in the finale, old Jeff. Did he? He really did. He and Guy. He, yes, he right. Guy. That is, was he, huge. is he still hot, Clive? Jackie? Oh, he looks exactly the same. Well, he then, yes. Exactly the same. <laughs> yes, he oh, is I still hot. Chrissy. Everyone <laughs> that just called could win first class in 50K. <laughs> Brownie, the podcast. Hey, Melbourne. Morning, Melbourne. 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 Morning, Melbourne. Hey, Melbourne. Melbourne. Chrissy Swan, Sam Payne, and Jonathan Brown. This is Chrissy, Sam, and Brownie. Melbourne's funniest breakfast show. Good morning, Melbourne. Welcome to your Friday. If you're feeling like, oh, this week went a long time, I'm with you. Mm. Yeah. I really, I, I had a real TGIF moment this morning when I woke up. And oh. I, it's not over for me. I've got to go and, uh, well, I don't have to. I get to. I'm changing that in my mind. Yes. Don't have to. I get to volunteer at my kids' primary school uh, fundraiser today. Awesome. What, what are you doing? 12 till 1. I'm not sure. I'm just going to turn Hosting up. Hosting something or? No, 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 no. No, I don't just, do that. You're just, just doing normal parent stuff. Standard mom stuff. Oh, you know, maybe right. handling the cash, putting some away for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Old sticky fingers. Old sticky fingers swan. Don't steal stuff. And then hey, that's tonight. that's a good way not to get asked back, by the way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> steal <laughs> stuff. Same, same thing happened to that girl band, Scandalous. Right on. And that's no, it was Bardo. Bardo. It was Bardo. And Tiffany? She no. She stole stuff and then she was gone forever. The great Chantel Barry. great Barry. Chantel Barry. That's right. <laughs> well, Sorry, I apologise, Tiffany. Allegedly. Apologise, Tiffany. Um, and tonight I'm going to be watching Melbourne v Collingwood. Uh, a great game tonight. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. On your, on your television or at the MCG, 10th anniversary of the passing of the great Jim Stein. What a great man. Yep. And other news, footy news, they say Buddy might be traded to Brisbane. Mate, Dave, the but, one day JB isn't here, Buddy's linked to Brisbane. To trade to Brisbane. I might be traded to Magic, so I might not be here next week. <laughs> <Is that laughs> Don't panic. I'm guessing that um, the news will still be around on Monday when Jonathan is back. Now, uh, if you want to get behind, Jim Steins was one of the great Melburnians, mm. and uh, he started the Reach Foundation. That's uh, right. They're asking us to be like Jim and help raise funds for the not for profit. Um, charity that Jim co-founded. So get behind it. It's an unbelievable organisation for you. Yeah. Reach the Reach Foundation. Uh, get behind it. This is the Chrissy Salmon Brownie Podcast. Just a reminder, our digital social media guy's away today. Yeah, Andy. Jack is, uh, Jack is on the tool, so get on Instagram and, oh, yes. and say hello to him. See what oh, stuff he's doing. Ask us anything he's doing. Andy was travelling somewhere because he asked me for a good bakery recommendation. Oh, well, I'm glad he's got his eyes on the prize. He's going to a funeral. <laughs> Did you deliver? Yeah, Beaufort Bakery, I said, on the way to Eden Hope. Yes. Yeah, it's a good one. Yes. Um, may I offer you a tidbit? Please. Yes. I thought I'd just put this in the tidbit category because it's such an amazing fact. 1897, Felix Hoffman, a chemist with the Bayer Company, mm. right, invented um, a substance that was to become the world most famous, diactyl morphine, a derivative of morphine, the first designer drug trademarked as heroin. It entered the market and began its own campaign, heroin is a fine business. Twelve days later, the same scientist invented aspirin. He synthesised acylic acid from willow bark and went on to be a massive drug called aspirin. What? So he invented heroin. Twelve days later, he invented aspirin. What? So you know what happened there. He invented heroin. He tried some. 
he ended up selling his parents' furniture and jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, I need some money. What am I going to do? He was strung oh, out. Yeah, he was strung out. Oh, I've, been, I've got some bark. I'm going to synthesise some bark. And now, now I'm going to... And then he's going to the people buyer. Oh, God, I've got something to make some more money. You know. Come on, come on. You've invented heroin, mate. Just relax. And then he's invented he's aspirin. He's turned up to the board meeting going, yeah. you got a dollar? Yeah, you got a dollar forty for the train? <laughs> now, I've got this new drug. Now, come on, listen to me. It's aspirin. Wait, is it Dave Hughes? Aspirin, yeah, that's right. It's well, aspirin. This guy in 1897 <laughs> invented heroin and then... Within 12 days, sold his parents' furniture <laughs> and jewellery. <and> jewelry. <laughs> well, I've got a tidbit too, right. but it's oh, not going to be as good as yours. Yeah, aspirin. Top, top that. Nah, aspirin's going to make heaps of money. Anyway, go on. I, in one of my deep dives during mm. the week, mm. um, hey. I discovered this and I was blown away. I love this it. Is, I this love is it. not a tidbit that you just find... You know, and you take a screenshot and sure. then deliver it. Yeah, I, yeah. I researched okay. this. Yeah. I love that because it's not, it's not just something you see on Twitter. No. Or May yeah. I offer you a tidbit? Oh, absolutely. Everybody's seeing this Elvis film, right? Mm. Yeah. And um, Baz- I've always, for some Lerman. reason, Baz Luhrmann, I've always been interested in Elvis's girlfriends and, oh, yeah. and wives and what it must have been like to be with somebody like him. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew that his, the, the girlfriend that he was with at his death was a woman called Linda Thompson. Have you heard that Didn't name? Know that. So she was with him at his death. Absolutely, yes, one hundred percent. She knocked on the toller door and you yeah. all right in there? Yeah, they'd been going out mm. for a while. Not not like years, but you know, it was a p- proper relationship. She was in the music business as well. Mm. Well, imagine my shock when I found out. You know how Bruce Jenner, when he when he before he was Caitlyn Jenner, mm. Mm. she was Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, had Brody and Brandon Jenner. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He's got those two, they have the two sons. Mm-hmm. Their mother is Linda Thompson. So wow. she was married to Bruce Jenner wow. for many, many years and then ended up with Elvis Presley. Wow. It's amazing. Or, or vice versa, was with Elvis and then, yeah, the same woman. Hey, when Elvis uh, married Priscilla, yeah. well, she was like she a, was young. a sus age. Yeah, so, f- f- yeah it Alex started going over the 14 or 15. 14. What? Well, what about yeah. Dane Cook? You know the comic Dane Cook? Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, Dane Cook was a famous, the first YouTube, Facebook comic like, in America. Appealed to a lot of frat boys, I'd say, in the noughties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge in America. He like was, Ford Fairlane sort of Yes, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, mm-hmm. Chrissy. Just okay. after the Fort Fairlane okay. period, Andrew Dice Clay, he just got married to a 22-year-old and he's 53 or something what like that. What do yeah. you talk about? Yeah, and he met her at like a frat party or something. Well, there's just a completely spin-off into unrelated sort of areas. Mm. Somehow related. Uh, Somehow as related. Your, as your podcast said, Demi Lovato's in the news today because she's casting aspersions against Will... Wilma Valderrama. Who played Fez in that 70s show. Yeah, and apparently she's like, mm, should you have been dating me? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a teenager. Want to see what happens in the studio? Check it out on Facebook. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Okay. Dino's. Pitch. Ow. Dino's. Pitch. What? Dino's Pitch. Dino's Pitch. Hey gang, we've got a beautiful team here, the Chrissy, Sam and Brownie universe. Mm -hmm. Uh, When one goes, it's really sad. We have to get a new family member in. After we lost Salty Vic to that hang gliding incident, um, we had to get someone new. Mm. And I think this new person, right, I think it's been enough to... I think they've survived probation, do you think, Swanee? Yes, oh, yes I do. So let's do this. Getting to know... Please enter. New producer, Tom Casamento. Tom. The magnificent Look at him. PC. Great hair. <laughs> Look at him. Good morning. He's got great hair, isn't he? Magnificent hair. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I mean, you are you are magnificent. A great colour. Top to toe, and you know that I love you. A T.Y. Bit, a bit of background on Tommy. He got this job because <laughs> he went to primary school with Jack, and Jack fudged the books. High school. <laughs> 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 no, that was no. high school or primary school? The, the, the fudging, the, 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 fudging the books is true, but it was high school. <laughs> but also, I am pretty good at my job. So, What What are your uh, first impressions of all the teams so that far? That remains it's, to be seen. It's been about six months you've been working right. here. Has it been six months? No, uh, no. <laughs> it's been months, though. It's been it's been months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, six yes. weeks. Um, 
So my first impression, well, actually, Chrissy, on the first day of um, work, mm. you came up to me and said, how are you finding it, blah, 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 and I just looked at you point blank and I said, babe, I can't stand you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was... If I collapse. <laughs> sure, sure. I wow. Collapsed. And it wasn't a lie. <laughs> Jonathan? Well, he's just really tall, you know? Sure. Like, he and it's is. sort of hard to... He was probably the only one... Uh, out of the three, you know, of you guys, CSB, mm. um, he was the one that I hadn't really had any connection with yet. Mm -hmm. and, and why would that be? <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't like footy? <laughs> um, it's not that I don't like football. Mm. It's just that it's... Probably not my vibe. Yeah. I go to the football to uh, drink alcohol. Yes. They're from different yeah. worlds, I'd say. But I'd Jonathan, say. Jonathan is open to anything. It's Pang. Yeah, he's fabulous. It's Pang. Pang. Well, Pang, have a, and Pang and I have a little bit of history because uh, one of Pang's great mates is actually my uncle. Okay. This so is I have, really? Yeah. So yeah, I've, he's I've official met, physician. Oh, I've a doctor. Met, yeah. yeah. So I've met Sam Pang at uh, some family events. Previous to working here, and and yeah. it, well, how does he behave with those? Did events? he zing you? Or? Oh, he's pretty cool and calm mm. and collected at the family events. Yeah, because mm. everyone sort of goes, "Oh my god, it's you know, Sam Pang. But right? then the the mm. booze gets a hold of him, and and no, he goes yeah. wild, gets cockeyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and what about what about me, French? Do you know? Yeah, what do you feel? Not much. Okay. That's <laughs> 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 All right. Do you want to get personal with Tommy? I yes. feel like we should know this guy. We he, should. He's family now. Yeah. Sure. What are you most ashamed of? Um, Probably my sleeping habits and the fact that I've accepted a job where I have to get up really early. What about, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't want to weigh in on what you should be ashamed of, but sure. what about sleeping through the for one of the first um, outside broadcasts we ever did at the Logies and us having to... <laughs> Beat down your door and almost pull an ambulance. Yes, uh, I was what hoping that, that, that wouldn't, shame? Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't leave the GC, Chrissy. But thanks for bringing it down to Melbourne. It's my pleasure. Unfortunately, yes, that did happen. Tommy, here's a tip: even yourself. if you stuff up, you just admit it and keep being a legend. People seem to not. Yeah, care. look, look. To be honest People with you, do not care. It yeah. was pretty iconic. It How? really was. Oh yeah. How really do you was. intend on making a splash in show business? <laughs> Go on, you Richard Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> well, interestingly, I studied musical theatre before I what? got this job. Oh, yeah, what? I, I just thought of an idea. You can sing. I can, yes. Can you give us something, um, brother? No, I'm going to ask him to sing us out. Okay, uh, excellent. Okay. Um, so, I mean, the dream would be to be in a musical theatre show. That would be awesome. Okay. Like yeah. nine to five? You or... could very easily play Alex Hamilton. You even look similar. Alexander Hamilton? Yes, Really? Yes. Oh, I mean, it'd be cool. Sure, why not? You could do it. Honestly, from one to ten, how questionable are your morals? Ten being questionable. Oh, I don't think my morals are questionable. No, I they're not. I think they're fine. Interesting. I do too. Yeah. I think you're a really good boy. When Uncle Dave, <laughs> when Uncle Gosh. Dave says something a bit sus, how do you feel? Because his own kids are worried he's going to get cancelled. <laughs> yeah, get cancelled culture. I, I love it. Oh, good on you. And I also love you because you love Diet Coke. As I, I love Diet Coke. Coke. I just think it's incredible. Your I mum do loves too. Diet Coke. And my mum loves yeah. Diet Coke. Do you love Diet Coke? Um, I'll have a Diet Coke. I'm more of a Pepsi Max gal, Ugh. but but I do love a Diet How Coke. How does your mum feel about the sudden mm. um, rarity of Diet Coke? You can't yeah. really find them on the road. Actually, interestingly, we went to Lightscape last week yes. at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Yes. And she was livid. Because I'm it's only she, Coke Zero, They only had it? Coke Zero yeah. and Red Coke. I call it Red Coke. People call it uh, whatever. Yeah. But, um, and she, I'm telling you, she didn't speak to us for half an hour, my sister and I, because yeah. she just couldn't. Really? I know. Fight in withdrawals because she couldn't get a DC. Yeah, you go to like your blue collar areas, the greasy spoon shops, they don't have Diet Coke anymore. No, they don't. It's all, it's all it's a shame. no sugar. It's Tom, a shame. Can't get on a plane. Tom Casamento, oh. you've slid right into this family really well, and Salty yeah. Vic was not easy to replace. Um, but yet I have. What? <laughs> Here we are. One thing we do do here, if you're part of the team, you need a real housewife tagline. Yes, yes. Now, this is where they just say cheesy shit like, so you got one off the top of your head? Um, they say you can't walk away from your problems, but I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> you got one in you, Dave? I put you on the spot here. For, for who? Uh, for yourself. For yourself. Oh, for myself. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> He says the wrong things, but you know he's right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I've got to say, you really delivered there on the... Uh, all right, so are you ready for yours? Yeah, I've got it. Right, here we go. Uh, here we go. You may not know anything about me now, but wait for my theatrical release. <laughs> so exactly. All right, well, well I feel like we really got to know him. I, I love him. I love are him. you going to sing us out? Well, give us a bit yeah. of memories. Well, or what, what can you, you do? do? Well, any, any song, your favourite show tune. Yeah, what's your favourite sort of show tune? Anything. Show, show us, tune? Show oh, us I have, I don't know I, It's not a show tune, but I have a song that is sort of in my back pocket. Great. Okay, mm. Just be, don't right. go on too long, and when you're ready for hit the ads, you point at me and I'll hit the All ads, right. okay? Tom Casamento. Do you need a backing track or anything? No, it should be fine. Okay, right, great. Here we go. Don't stop me now. I'm having <laughs> such a good time. I'm having a ball. Woo! Don't, Don't stop, stop me now if you want to have a good time. Just, Just give me a call. Oh. Don't stop me because I'm having a good time. Oh. Don't oh. stop me because I'm having a good time. I don't want to stop at all. Do you want to see what this looks like? Well, get the visuals on Instagram. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. I wrote it up and sent it in my opinion in the paper. It's time for your say. That was the dulcet tones of Ty Frost, which you've heard twice in as oh, many fantastic. days. From Smooth FM Smooth days. Smooth FM. I haven't done this for a very long time. This is where I, love I this. scour the pages of the newspaper and find nonsensical and borderline <coughs> crazy messages from the people that are around, that are, are that are around us. 50-50. Swanee psychos have the best thoughts. <laughs> I love 50-50 in the Herald Sun. Is it still called that? or something? It's called, No, it's called Your View. Your View now. Yeah. Right. Mm. And I was actually, I was looking this morning, it used to be called Your Say, and mm. we've kept that in the, mm. in the opening because it's so gorgeous. But I feel like it's been changed to your view. I was looking at it this morning. I thought, I reckon what's happened here mm -hmm. is that people like Sam from Castlemaine and PK from Reservoir and Chris from Whittlesea have said, when, oh, when will you change the name from your say? We're not saying anything. Oh, We're God. writing. <laughs> yeah. 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 I reckon that's what's happened. I reckon. Mm. PK from Reservoir. Weighing in on the Rex Hunt business. Oh, yeah. oh when he uh, asked someone if they wanted to die holding a pitchfork. Time for a nursing home, Rex. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Cool. In cool. fairness, PK from Reservoir had more words in that comment than Kylie had in the last episode of Neighbours. Right. Oh! Sam from Castlemaine. Why do women pose for photos while looking at their phone? Well, maybe they're taking the photo on their phone. Good point, Dave. <laughs> but, but, Dave, why do women pose for photos while looking on their phone? Oh, gosh. Mm. I mean... He's taken time out of his day to, to publish this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Chris from Whittlesea. Australia should build the best defence force in the world. It is only a matter of time before someone will want to take over our country. Whoa! <laughs> The best defence force in the world. It's too... I mean, why haven't they done that already? Why haven't they? It's too big to defend. <laughs> Good point, Dave. A lot of gaps. There's a lot of gaps. You just can't have bounces up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Here's a thinly veiled insult at oh, no. uh, Ballarat City Council, oh, who are obviously what? not doing a good enough job on the roads. Now, the roads are right, one of the favourite topics of conversation. Yes. Let's see how thin this veil is. I've got a new Commonwealth Games event for country Victoria. Pothole jumping. Whoa! Pothole jumping. Now that's a hot take. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh, boy. Paul from Rosanna can barely keep this under his hat. <gasps> oh. Oh. I thought Dom Perrottet was a bottle of French wine until I found out he's Premier of New South Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Like Get that's it, Dom Perignon, Dom, Dom Perignon. Swanee, with I wouldn't roll that out in a conversation, let alone <laughs> send it to a paper. With his six children. Come on, people. He would have been chuckling when he wrote oh, that yeah. too, Paul. <laughs> Told his wife she just rolled her eyes. <laughs> he was saying and appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <laughs> Trevian to me. <laughs> Sounds Trevian. Dom Perity. Dom Perity. <laughs> Barry from Brunswick. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Do you? Love Marry Barry, him, mate. Barry. He loves him. Barry. Old school Brunswick. I can barely get this out. My dentist owns a lettuce. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, because letters are expensive. Yeah. And Barry's had a lot of work done on his teeth. <laughs> Well, kill, man, you, you kill, hey, Barry, the there's always, there's always Barry. more there's always more room for work to be done on seat. Kill it, Barry. Oh, I mean, kill it, Barry. Kill it, Barry. Do you want me to do that one again? Yes, yeah. just, just please. My dentist owns a lettuce because it's quick. Yeah, you can't, you can't be funny, be quick. And when it ends, you're, you're wondering what just happened. Yeah, what, Barry? And then it hits it's your trolley. I've got so many, but, you know, we don't have time. One more, one more, one more. Well, we'll okay, pa- weighing in on Neighbours, I've got two more on, okay. on the Neighbours front. Bobcat Pat from Summerville. Oh, Summerville. I mean... Close cut. Co- Bobcat Pat is a close relative of the aforementioned Trev Trev Kev. Kev. Trevor Kevin. <laughs> They're on the same dance. Trev Kev. <laughs> Trev- Welcome to the dartboard, Trev Kev and Bobcat Trevor Kevin. Pat. <laughs> Can neighbours be replaced with something equally as good like the Adams family? <laughs> what? You, can you, how can you replace neighbours with the Adams family? I don't want something better or worse. I want something equally as good <laughs> as neighbours like the Adams family. Merge them. You have the thing. Uh, what are his name? The like the old, the old black and white one. Yeah. Talking about. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Elvis from Hayfield also has a suggestion. Of course. Can they slot in Seinfeld or something great like Happy Days in the neighbour's time <laughs> slot? <laughs> Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Happy, happy days. days. Loved Happy Days. All right. Yeah, Mr C. Fonzie. Yeah. Hey. Swan, that was... It's been too long. And look, I've, had, I've got six <laughs> more. Oh, hang on to him. Hang on to him. Chrissy Sam and Brownie. Back in just 60 seconds. SPC Baked Beans and Vegemite. Two Aussie icons in a can. Perfect for brekkie, lunch or dinner. SPC Baked Beans and Vegemite. The ultimate Aussie mashup. Do you want to see what this looks like? Well, get the visuals on Instagram. Follow Chrissy Sam and Brownie. Chrissy Sam and Brownie's Mask Ringing. Who is that? The new era of TV's craziest show is almost here. The Masked Singer starts 7.30 Sunday on 10. It really is a new era, new judging panel, amazing uh, artists underneath the masks. Can't wait to see who's under there. Oh, it's so great. Uh, I think you just might get one first episode, on I that, think. On that, Dave, Swan is guaranteed that there no, there's no Michael Bevins in there. No, and there's no... You, Every time uh, the person was unmasked, I knew exactly who it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause Every he, single time. And he's a, Chris is an absolute freak at guessing them. Thank you, David. Absolute Hughes. freak. And no disrespect to Michael Bevan, by the way. No, absolutely no, no disrespect. <laughs> but we don't need state cricketers, you know. Like, not that he's a state cricketer, but we don't need one of the kingfishers, or, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. Kelly and St Kilda, this is how it works. We've ripped, we've ripped off Swanee's show. You're going to hear someone from the telly singing. You have a good listen, and if you get it right, if you guess it right, a thousand dollars, Kel. Awesome, Kelly. You excited about the Masked Singer to see me lose my tiny mind? I am. You're amazing, and I love Abby. So Abby is one of the greats. Get used to Abby. She's going to be treading the boards like longer than Patty Newton. Do you I'm know more, what I mean? Awesome. I'm yeah. a scary Spice guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, She's scary Spice. <laughs> She's scary Spice. Great too. Have a kid with Eddie Murphy. Yes, she did. That's yes. incredible. Yeah, yeah and he denied, he denied it. And he, well, yes. And then I they did, did a DNA test. It's a very awful, sad story. Can you bring that up with her when you talk to her? Or? Oh, I've, I've mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mention it quite like you did. Uh, I've, I've, I met her. Hey Mel, Mel B travels. She's a wonderful mother and a wonderful provider. She travels with her daughters. Tommy Hughes, you could bring up, Mel B, what's, what's Eddie Murphy oh, like? Oh, he didn't let it down. He didn't let it go. Every opportunity to mention Eddie, <laughs> Eddie Murphy, Murphy. He didn't, I was like, oh. Is that Eddie Murphy under the mask, Mel B? Read the room, Hughes. <laughs> at, uh, one point, at one point, she goes, I feel like this is someone I've dated. Straight away, Husey goes, is that Eddie Murphy? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Anyway, right. Kel, we right, digress. Kel, have Here a we good go. listen. Have, have a, a listen good to this listen. person. Here we go. Well, I hope that I don't fall in love with you. Falling in love just makes me blue. Anyone else around? Who's that? Well, the music plays and you around? display your heart for me to see. Oh. Oh. Had a beer and now I hear oh. you calling out to me. Is it Tom Waits? Yeah. I hope that I don't yes. fall in love. 
All right, Kel. And that's a TV personality. Yeah, brother. Yeah, and it's quite a beautiful rendition, actually. We're going to give you a clue, though, because Dems de yeah. rules. Sorry, I just got to find the rules. We'll give you a clue, mate. Um, I, I know that voice. Do you know them? Aside from acting, this person is a member of the band The Waiting Room. Might be a play oh. on maybe a doctory sort of vibe. Where Ooh. would you have a is waiting room? Dr. Carl Kennedy. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. G'day. This is Alan Fletcher here. I used to be Dr. Carl Kennedy. I'm... What do you mean, used Amazing. to be? You'll always be Dr. Carl wow. Kennedy to us. <laughs> That's a thousand dollars, Kel. Well done, but, darling. Kel, can you ever forgive him for dogging Susan, though? Like in anyone, really? No, okay. how could you? She was just too good for him. I tell you what, it'll make you feel better because Susan has never forgiven him and never. makes him be. She punishes him every day. It's her life work, yes. really. He should, set up, enough, really. He should <laughs> set up a medical practice now. You know, bulk billing. Oh, I Dr. read Carl. something that he wants to do. That yeah. he wants to. He wants to go back to uni. <laughs> The be new, a real doctor. Yeah, be a real doctor. The new era of TV's craziest show is almost here. The Masked Singer starts 7.30 Sunday on Channel 10. Two more sleeps. I can't wait for you to see it. It's just pure joy. Right. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. The podcast. Hey, Melbourne. Morning, Melbourne. 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 Morning, Melbourne. Hey, Melbourne. Melbourne. Chrissy Swan, Sam Payne and Jonathan Brown. This is Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Funniest breakfast show. Nova. Good morning, Melbourne. You made it. It's Friday and the weekend stretches out before us. I've got a busy one. I'm seeing Vicar and Linda Bull tonight. Oh, yes. fabulous. And Kate Sobrano tomorrow night. Swanee. Yeah, I mean, the we, girls. We've all got stuff going on. What are you doing? I'm in the Footscray Bowling Club today at 3 o'clock. Yes, Long brother. Balls. Then tomorrow night, I'm on at the Basement Comedy. You've been there in the city. You've been there, Dino. One of my favourite venues. It's part of the European Beer Cafe. I'm headlining at the awesome. Basement. Fantastic. Hey, get your tickets. Actually, I'm going to go... Actually, to be completely honest, Jack and Pang and I are going on an adventure tonight. Who knows what's going to happen. It's, it's right. technically called a bender, it's I believe. It's a bender. Fantastic. What's the weather going to be like for the million people at the G tonight? Dee's Collingwood. Showers, 15 oh. the top today. Oh, who plays better in the wet? Oh. Good question. Mm. Good Have you donated to my Fred's big run, Fred Hollow's big run? Kieran was talking about this. It so would be great. I will donate. I've um, I've clocked up fifty kilometres so far Huge. in the in the month of August. I'm going to be doing another sort of thirty or forty by the time. Do you I'm accept cash? To you again? I do not accept cash. <laughs> Please go to the link in my bio on Instagram. I'm going to donate. This is the Chrissy Sam and Brownie podcast. This is just a great article. A mum, Tammy who was sick of her nosy neighbours spying on her, decided she would give them something to stare at. Great. As Bonnie Raitt says, let's give them something to talk about. She erected mannequins in her garden, which she posed as drunks and accident victims (laughs) to scare them. So I just love... Is that passive-aggressive or just aggressive-aggressive? I think it's aggressive-aggressive. But, I mean, they're not... They're just mannequins, so they're not going to do anything. They are. It's so fabulously understated. There's a mannequin here... Dressed in a pair of bell bottom jeans. Oh yes. Relaxing in a uh, in like an Adirondack chair, look with her mouth open and glasses on, as if she's had a full night on the tiles. So I, I'd I'd say the first time the neighbours saw that, they would just go, "What's going on?" But then yeah. they would realise. Then they'd start gossiping, yeah. But then they would think about their own actions and go, "Oh, yeah. why is she doing this? Oh, that's right, we're terrible gossips." These are on our Insta story. So on the one on the roof, they look like it looks like real people. Obviously, is it the one that you're talking about that um, that she left a mannequin dangling from a garage roof for an entire month, <laughs> resulting in cars stopping in the street, thinking someone was in need of help? She's as happy as a clam. She's photographed between two of the. Like department store mannequins. Yeah, Where'd she get them from? I don't know. I like this one too. Cross legged in a pair of thigh high boots, sitting on bales of hay. This would have been around the 4th of July, I'd say, because yeah. there's lots of American flags. America. Four or five bottles of beer, glasses on, and a, and a jacket on, because it's cold out. Yeah. But surely the neighbours would be starting to go, when are you changing? We need, you know, we need something new to look at now. Well, the neighbourhood kids, Swanee, would have to get loaded, surely, and make them do, like, sex positions, surely. Yeah. And Halloween, surely, surely that's going to come into play. And I think Tammy would absolutely embrace this. I do too. This is my favourite photograph. There's two mannequins, one with a watering can, one with a midriff out and a wig. There's a guy passed out in the corner <laughs> sitting down. Fantastic. I know that you're looking at it now, um, Dino. Just have a look at the fence line. It's oh, Daphne, it's, and it's a Tammy. 
Wow. It's Tammy. She's there she is. Gorgeous. She's, uh, she's Tammy. popping her head over. But, you know, I'm not a fan of neighbours, so I, I get this. I've never really... Oh. No, I know. I talk to my neighbours all the time. No, it's terrible. You it's know terrible. why? You know what the, the key is? One of my friends moved from my area to Bourne, I think, and he said, in where I live, you park on the street. Because there's not a lot of garages and room for garages, so you talk to your neighbours. I like it too, Swanee. Oh, I, like I like it. I like no one You're friends with your neighbours, aren't you? I'm I friends am. with my neighbours. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I've um, It's what I keep on telling my kids. You just Life's a big adventure, and just when you think you're a certain way, something happens, and you, you can change. Yeah. yeah. And I've changed. There's a, a group of girls that have moved down two doors down from me from the country. They're all share housing. Oh, yeah, awesome. They dropped in some eggs from one of their farms. Like you know, the fruit, Great they neighbors. add little little feathers on them. Beautiful. That is an that that is the way to my heart. If you're dropping in free range eggs, you. We've got a shed house, shed house next to us now. Four young guys. Is it lovely? Yeah, they're great. They're yeah. great because you know we. I mean, we make more noise than them. Not, yeah, of course. Not that you care about this, but they, do they know who you are? Yeah, well, one of them, one of them, because one of them went out with Brian Ankervis's daughter. Oh uh, yes, from Rock Quiz. Mm. So he's a comedian. So they, yeah, they kind of know me. Yeah, they know me. They're in the fraternity. Anyway, they know I'm, me. they're, you know, coming over on Sunday. I've oh, changed, the girls are? I've changed That's my fantastic. ways. Wow. But Want to see what happens in the studio? Check it out on Facebook. Follow Chrissy, Sam, and Brownie. <laughs> <laughs> An art form that's been around for centuries. And sculpting that art form takes knowledge and talent. So it's now time for an air check with PD extraordinaire, Bradley Dan. Dave O'Neill is out of the studio. Hey guys. Bradley Dan is this there. This is your work review, guys. Oh, Brad Dan. Mm -hmm. Mm. PD for Nova, Smooth, Vega, everything. Um, sorry, I'm a bit dusty today. I was out last night at the... Uh, Big night at the Shopo Hotel, the Red Hot Chili Pepper um, Eagles cover band. Hotel Californication, it's a great night. <laughs> so, hanging out with Flea and Don Henley. Not the real ones, fake ones. <laughs> Just as good, though. Anyway, you know what? I'm excited. And Hotel I'm, I'm, Californication. <laughs> Hotel Californication. i got to say, I um, haven't heard much mentions of the uh, Commonwealth Games, guys. The Commie oh, Games. Yeah. The Commie Games are going off. And so today we're dedicating all songs to the Commie Games. Birmingham Bangers. Okay. What have you got for us, Dino? Birmingham Bangers. Go! Spanner Ballet, mate. Went to the Spanner Ballet ACDC cover band um, to cut a long way to the shop. Short. That were great. Um, <laughs> so I, I have to say the phrase Birmingham Bangers before I play it. Birmingham Bangers. What else you got? So I want something now that sums up professional sport, Dino. Sums it up. Drugs and money. Uh, great song. Yeah, but I didn't ask for cycling. That's crazy stuff. <laughs> my bad. That's my bad. I want bad. something now. They're all Birmingham bangers. I want something to um, for the kids. You know, all the kids do the sport. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they're not. They're not. Most of them aren't going to get there. They're not going to get to the com the commie games mm. or the, the Olympic commie games. That's what we're calling around that? here. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, commie well, games. I don't think we're allowed, Bradley Dan. I don't think we're allowed to talk about it. Like the wording, the the copyright of it. It's very hard to talk about the game. The commie games. Well, play play a song for the kids, the little sporting kids out there. No, no, that's what bronze medal to you, and that's what I'm doing today on this segment. <laughs> I'm handing out medals like the Commie oh, Games, God. and you got a bronze for the Birmingham Banger. Kids are gonna learn that you can lose sometimes. Loser, that's not gonna inspire the kids, mate. Oh, anyway, look, uh, one more move like that, and you're off to Wollongong. <laughs> 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 you know what, Sam Pang, yeah. never here, no. never here, uh -huh. um, work shy. Um, he started off bronze the other day when he started on an anecdote about his bottle shop days. Have a look you know, I set up my fair share of uh, displays in a bottle shop, by the way. You know, it was a source of pride. How do you decide? Is it the things that are on special or you just choose, sort of choose your own adventure? <laughs> no, it would be, there'd be a promotion, do you know what I mean? A salesperson would come mm. in and say, listen, yeah. we're pushing this this week. Here's some stuff and here's the... Anyway, <laughs> it's all in the book, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously. So you know, ask yourself, a, yeah. a cabinet maker in Croydon give us stuff about bottle shops? No. Probably. Yes. Big yes. fan of the Percy Camel. Of course. <laughs> and so, Sam, I initially thought that is bronze, but that is an excellent idea for a segment, the Sam's shit anecdotes. Okay. And so, we've got, we're going to launch it today. Mm -hmm. SSA. He's recorded one. Mm -hmm. Let's have a listen. Maybe think of a possible new segment. Time now for another ordinary anecdote from Sam's days 
working in a bottle shop. It was late one Sunday night and I'd just served one of the locals a six-pack. Later on, I discovered that the man had left his wallet behind. To make sure it was his, I opened it up and found that there were $60 in it. So the next time he came in, I returned his wallet complete with the money inside. I could tell he was grateful because as he left, he said, Thanks, mate. I'll be more careful next time. Again, no punchline, no no real interest, no. but another shit anecdote yeah, from Sam Payne. Yeah, nowhere. Oh. Right. We're nowhere. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's gold for Sam Payne. That, that's gold? Bronze for you guys, though. There's been a lot of potty talk mm. lately. you got to remember the kids are in the car, guys. Okay. All this talk about condoms. I think it's Sam again. Unbelievable. Well, what day of the Commonwealth Games? What day are we up to? With Five. The Five. So there's still... Uh, geez, have you run out of condoms in that village, by the way? <laughs> I think that's pretty clean. Yeah, right? but then old, old uh, what's his name, Titus O'Filey comes in. <laughs> that guy in the hat. Yeah. Who employed him? That was not one of my picks. Wasn't I it? wanted Wayne Carey. <laughs> you guys outvoted me. I actually think it was my <laughs> suggestion. I'm sorry, Bradley. Dan. Listen to this potty mouth, young man. You hear this story every Olympics, every comograms. They handed out in the athletes' village condoms and contraception mm-hmm. and all this sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. And so they, they handed out so many that it turned out that the toilets couldn't keep up with the amount being flushed down the toilets and the, and the sewerage. No, the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, ha, ha, ha. So I, that, might, that might float in your free, Freemasons meeting, mate, but that's not going to float here on Nova. Free, oh, so he's a Freemason now as Looks well. Looks like it. Was that a real laugh before? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, Titus. You know what, you guys... If you're ever going to do your potty talk, I've got a little sting for you guys to play. Okay. So as soon as you start thinking condoms, you know, porno talk, yeah. just play this, yeah? Alert, alert. Kick the kids out of the car. Rude words coming. Oh, they need the exercise. Yeah, because as we know, there, there are a lot of fat kids these days. What? So get out and walk. Jesus. Just play that next time, Dina. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah. put that onto your little button bar because you're going to need that a fair bit. Okay. Finally, yeah, yeah. the mask the mas ringer. Yeah. yeah. So I say silver. I don't mind that competition. Mm-hmm. But I ne- we need to think different. That's the original Nova slogan, guys. Mm-hmm. Nova sounds different. Sounds a bit yeah, like Fox. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I came up with that. Okay. Nova sounds different. No, that's good. But we've got to be dangerous. Yeah. A bit more dangerous. Get attention. You know, celebrities singing on the phone, big deal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I've got. These ideas, mm. okay, we're going to try this too. The masked right winger. Okay. So we play <laughs> famous right wing person singing. Yeah. You've got to guess who it is. What have you got for us, Dino? Yes, love. Love changes everything. Alan Jones. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Chrissy from Camwell got it. A thousand dollars to you. A thousand dollars to you. Let's listen to Alan a bit more. Nothing in the world will ever be. The masked right winger. Okay. The masked right winger is fantastic. <laughs> Maybe not. But also, the next one, the masked dinger. So... Wait a minute. Mas- yeah, hang on a minute. Alert, alert. Okay. The, we need to get a celebrity and they sing through a condom. Yeah? <laughs> what do you got for us, Dino? Okay, Chrissy, any idea? Is it Dennis Walter? That's me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's me, fresh from... Hotel Californication last night. It's Bradley Dan. It's Bradley Dan. Through a dinner. We were short on celebrities. We were short on celebrities. <laughs> Through the latex. <laughs> That's huge. We couldn't even get Ty Frost. He refused to do it from Smooth. Ty Frost wouldn't, put a, wouldn't put a dinger on his head. <laughs> wouldn't do it. Sure. I'd, sure. Finally, though, I think this might be the one. The Masked Pinger. Okay. Okay. Where we feed drugs to a celebrity. Yeah. And they sing. <laughs> Who is this, Chrissy? <laughs> Finger. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> he know you know him very well. Who is that? For a thousand dollars. Who do you know is it Dino? It's Dino well done. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Forehurst, a wonderful human being who you may have seen on Eurovision. She also has a book coming out on the 28th of September called Time of My Life. Also, Spicks and Specs is returning. Woo! And you can catch it at 7.40pm Sunday on the ABC and ABC iView. Here's me. What a dream to have your cute little face in here. Oh, thank you for having me back. I love coming in here. It brings me so much joy. It really does. It's such a fun time in here. You're so beloved. People love me. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. And I I'm, often I'm... wonder, do you get 
you know, like um, social media and stuff can be mm. not the real world for starters, yeah. but can be a bit mean. Mm. Do you ever get mean people? Not a lot. No, I, I didn't a, think so. Yeah, uh, yeah look, I've been I pretty don't either, lucky. In fairness. Been pretty lucky in that department. I do get some strange ones, some very strange ones that I've let the police know about. <laughs> but um, <laughs> music nerds, get, music nerds, music nerds always want to know. They always want to know what song from. 1997 that had a something in a film clip, like a pigeon in a film clip. Like, wasn't that every song in the 90s? Well, I think that would have been um, a Bross film clip. Bross had oh pigeons. Bross had pigeons, right. yeah. Um, and of course, there was a great scene in Boytown where they released the pigeons and they got they didn't come back. Yeah, that's right. They got, they got chopped up. But um, Specs and Specs, though. Um, Dave, you're on it all, all, all the time. All the time. Yeah, oh, Dave, is, Dave is essentially he's the, the carryover oh, champion. He really oh, is. Like, we'll yeah. take you into the into the gift shop and get yourself a diamond <laughs> self <laughs> diamond, diamond set memento, memento from, from Bruce, Bruce and Walsh. Walsh. People always <laughs> ask me to, <laughs> who are the most difficult people that? Yeah. Remember we had Chris Bailey from the Saints. Yeah. So if people don't know he was a punk rocker from Brisbane. Mm -hmm. He recently passed away. He recently passed, passed away. away. Had a few big hits with ghost ships and stuff. Yeah. But he looked non plus sitting between me and you. Yeah. And one of the one of the questions was, what was the name of the Village People movie? Oh. Anyone? Can't Stop, can't the, music. Stop. Can't stop the Music. One then, of the greats. And we started singing You Can't Stop the Music mm. and he looked so not thrilled and I said, I reckon you can stop the music. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I can and I will. Oh, and then did he He should have left set then. Yeah, he should have. No, but did you find anyone else difficult? No, not really, no. to be honest. I think it's such a it's such a nice vibe on set and people come genuinely hoping that it will be a good Fun. time. And, like, there's people like you, Dave, that make everyone feel very comfortable and mm. I'm, I'm pretty accommodating. I just like to... I don't want to cause any trouble yes. on that set. It's not yeah. the right place. So I think people just enjoy you themselves. You seem like a very very balanced and joyful person. Well, well, not always, Chrissy, no. no, no, no. Do, you, do, you do, you do you ever spiral, Miff? Do you ever spiral? ever spiral? Oh, look, if you see me on the couch with a packet of twisties <laughs> and oh. <laughs> ordering two pizzas because I don't want the delivery guy to think I'm overeating, oh. I, I'm living alone. All, all I just sit there yeah. all by myself. I'm like, oh, I have two because there's two people here, but it's just me. Have what you ever done that too? Where, and then they, they ring the doorbell and you go, I'll get it. Yes. <laughs> I do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be long. And I said, um, uh, can you look after the dog? Yep. Yeah. yeah. What about, though? You, you went through a terrible brief period when your cat went missing. Oh, yeah, Merv. He but great story. Yeah, great. It came back. It came back. Oh, this is the thing about they cats. They often do. They often do. They how disappear many, for days and then days? they just get hungry. He was gone for seven nights and I thought it was over and I was like, oh, my God, Merv. It's my like, cat Joseph my left life. for four months. Ooh, four, four months? months? Yeah, and then turned up smelling like a car engine oh. Oh. and, oh. and looking like Tom Waits. <laughs> like, absolutely. Come out of a drain yes. somewhere. Yes, <laughs> I think he had come out of a drain and I was so happy to see him. Oh. How did you find your cat? Oh, look, I put posters up and it does work. Them. It does and, work. And someone in, it was about four streets over, someone in the backyard saw this little cat sitting there mm. and he's terrified and they've texted me, is this your cat with oh. a photo? And I've just started crying and I had to go and get him real quick and yeah. so I didn't get a cat cage. I just thought, I'll put him in the car. Don't ever That's just put a cat. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Oh, my God. I was driving and this cat is just pinging around. Claws <laughs> out, freaking out. But I'm just going, Merv, we'll be home soon. I love you. And I understand you had to go right then. You had didn't to. have the, the chance to find the Miff, cat carrier. Miff, I used to live next to an old German lady back in Perth. <laughs> and um, once her car got into my engine block of the Corolla. Oh. The cat. And I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat her cat, sorry. Um, and I drove to work. Um, oh. What? And at every line... I was hearing meows. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about a two-kilometre drive through the uh, the poly pipe, this big tunnel in Perth. And I get to the work and, it's, and then I realise the meowing's coming from the car. I hope the meowing didn't stop yeah. at one point. No, no, no. Pop the bonnet and there's a little black cat just looking at me. Oh. He'd, he'd come to work in my engine. He would have been very warm by the time you finished. Yeah. Was, was he terrified? Terrified. So I put him in the car, drove him home, and then I just chucked him over the fence and never said a thing. Wow. Because so me and the, the German lady didn't get along with me because I used to play Sing Star too loud. Yeah. Oh, Fair enough. How good was Sing Star? We no. need to bring that back we as, a, really as a thing. But I used to have such fun. She would never know that that cat went to uh, two suburbs in a damn engine. Wow. What a day. What I an think, adventure. I think that's what I love the most about cats is that they have a completely secret life that you'll never, never know. know. You will never, ever mm. know. There's, and there's so many stories. There was this one cat of my friends that just disappeared because... Uh, 
they'd found they'd gone in, the cat had gone in through a cat door, not meant for them, mm. meant for the cat that lived at the house. Mm. And uh, they had a heated floor. The owners had a heated floor. <laughs> and that cat preferred the heated floor. So they never saw that cat again. <laughs> it's like I found, better, I found a better situation. Yeah, this house yeah. is great. And they're just lying flat on its back, it's so just exposing funny. its tummy. Yeah. So funny. I've got a girlfriend in her, um, her cats or moved up the road. They like someone yeah, mine else, has. Another family. Maybe comes home like, every couple of days. Says mine hello. never comes home. I see him in the. Uh, I see him in the, in the street. In the street, and I go, "Hi, Bobby," and he doesn't even it doesn't acknowledge mm, stop. me. Really? Yeah. Now you're writing your own book. Yeah, you I've must written have finished. It. You've written it. I've written it. I just finished the audio book yesterday, and oh. it's um yeah, it's been a real experience. But a lot of this stuff that we're talking about now, you know, with fix and specs and, and music comes up in the book because what I've done is what I've done is talk about my own memories, but with a musical memory. A Attached. Oh, so, awesome. You know, it's like a little soundtrack to my life, I guess. But it's not just about the music. It's more about the stories, but it, it taps into the things. What are some of the songs? Let's try and guess some of the songs. Well, some you of the mentioned bands. one. You mentioned one before. Um, can't, I'll, I'll tell you, Can't yeah. Stop the Music was my first Village movie at the big on the big screen, and it was an absolute flop. But, of course, it you know, oh. I just adored it. I loved it too, and I would do concerts for my family. Mm. That must have been insufferable. Okay, I'm trying to think what other artists would feature in there. Mm. I think a bit of Oz Rock. Is any Oz Rock? Yeah. No? Yeah. My, okay, ABBA. ABBA. Absolutely, yeah. Abba Arrival, the album in the seventies mm. with them in in the in the helicopter Fantastic. in their white jumpsuits, looking. Fabulous. That was my first concert. When <gasps> she went to my music world, well, it's incredible. Mm. I was three or four. So jealous. So Spicks and Specs, seven forty Sunday on ABC and ABC Ivy. When's the book? When, when's that coming? The book comes out in October. Ooh. I know it's all happened very. Quickly. Well, you'll be back to talk about that for I would sure, Miffy. You're not going anywhere, Miff. Oh. You're, you're at an FM radio show. Oh. We're going to play a wacky game. Oh yeah. Let's roll. Oh. It is, huh? You should release that. I, I should. Agree. I should. It's got a very good voice. Hitting yeah. the post is where a radio... Not as good as the, ma- the mask pinger that I heard. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dino. Hitting the post is where radio DJs talk over the song and they stop talking just before the singer uh-huh. starts. And it has to be like a tiny bit of air between it. Yeah. Not much. Uh, it's Dave, or who wants to go against Miff? Dave. Oh. Dave. Dave v Miff. Who would like to go first? Um, Dave. Can you go first, I'll Dave? Go first. Because I've sure. worked at the ABC for most of my, oh, my yes. DJing career. We never did any of this. No. It, was, no, it, was, no. it was loose, I guess. Like, no, the ABC's <laughs> like... Uh, 1300 2774. <laughs> Give us a call about the state of roads in Camberwell. Mm. We've got Phil on the line. Phil, what do you want to say? <laughs> well, I tripped over a tree root twice in the same year and nothing's been done. Okay, right, Phil. Phil. Here's your ham. Enjoy your day. No, you're. No, there's, no oh, yes, there's no giveaways on the ABC. Isn't there, isn't there a hamper of Hoyts? Oh, spices? Mid, mid, oh, no, uh, that's three of them. Oh, no. You want a Midsummer okay. Murders DVD Oi. for that call. <laughs> Dave. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Your first, your song is unwritten by the great Natasha Bedingfield. I don't even know that. Twel- great oh, d- song. 12 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Hit the post. Coming up next week on Chrissy Sam and Brandy, Nathan Brode joins us the show after the game against Port on today. Mr. Chrissy returns, but next, catch up on the best bits of the week with the cheat sheet. That's uh, Bradley Dan here on No Brief Hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not bad. Fine, it's Be fine. Good. I hated it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> that's... I rushed a bit because I was so panicking. Yeah, you, you really rushed it. You said Nathan oh, Bro. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Miff, uh, from knows. the great Chad Kroger off the Spider Man. Oh, is it that, that one? <laughs> no, no, this is Mariah Carey's hero. A better one. <laughs> no, I'll take Chad Kroger. Oh, that Chad Kroger <laughs> hero <laughs> song is yeah. one of the worst. It sounds like he's had a really bad Mexican meal. <laughs> he's yeah. into his fifth hour it's on the toilet. He's yeah. about to. If you know that a hero was even. I kind of like it. I hate myself for it. No, All right. It's okay. Mariah Carey on the How hero. 14 seconds. Oh, whoa. Hit the post. The guys will be catching up with the first eliminated Masked Singer contestants after it premieres on Sunday night. Do tune in. It's going to be amazing. Oh! That was so absolutely long. terrible. <laughs> Very hard to do. It is, eh? 
Yeah. Miff, we You're love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> he is a genius, actually. A yeah. boy genius. Dino. Yeah. Specs and Specs, 7.40 uh, Sunday. Yeah, get your soon. eyes on it. Good oh, to see no, it. it's against the mask. Do you want to see what this looks like? Well, get the visuals on Instagram. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Nickelback, yeah. It is. Nickelback are much maligned, and for good reason. But well, that is a good song. I think it's just Krogs, that one, for the Spider-Man. That's Chad song. Kroger. Ah, yeah. right. Okay, okay. Mate, I'm I like Photograph. Look, Look at that photograph. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't mind it. Look at that photograph. What about that awful one? I like your pants around you. Oh, that's terrible. That's romantic. Terrible. That's, that's up there with my sex is on fire. Oh, oh I love that kids one. Kids are in the car. Leave that alone. <laughs> Uh, have a great week. Podcast today, a whole bunch went down. Uh, sending out love to JB's at uh, Billy Pickens' funeral. Yes, he is. His, uh, his, his uncle? beautiful uncle who passed away suddenly. And uh, we'll all be back on board on Monday. Thank mm-hmm. you so much, Dave O'Neill. What a joy. It's been great fun. And if you're looking for comedy, tomorrow night in the CBD, I'm on uh, the basement of Would the you? European Pig. Not just me. What time? Oh, it starts about eight. European Beer Cafe. It's a great mm-hmm. night. You've been to the, I have, Europe, I love truly it. the comedy of the basement. You're in the middle of the city, so you can just have a make a big old night out of it. Do it. Cheap. Cheat, cheat, enjoy, love you, Melbourne. Hey, everybody, it's Friday. What does it mean? End of the week, look back what it was, what it is, what we did, what we did it. End of the week, you're getting out of bed with your alarm ringing at your head instead of getting ready for the weekend. Hey! Let's go through the week. Little bit of brownie, little bit of Chrissy, somewhere in between there's hang next all three cheap, cheap times I'll break this Friday. Let's get going on Monday. Sam talked about the Commonwealth Games. Are you watching the Commonwealth Games? No. I love the Commonwealth Games. You just, uh, Great. just to get together for every four years. Mm. We beat the crap out of some countries. <laughs> yeah. When you first look at them, you're not even sure they're countries. We continued Commonwealth Games talk, but of course, about the only topic most people really care about. Well, what day of the Commonwealth Games? What day we have to? Five. Yeah, five. So there's still. She's uh, a run out of condoms in that village, by the way. We are Sam a very important. Question. Do you dance? Oh. <laughs> Nickname at high school was Footloose. Being Monday still, uh, Sam had the discussion about neighbours as he obviously isn't here on Fridays. I haven't actually seen you since the Neighbours finale. I was curious to know how they got everyone back. Well, for what reason? Harold was back. Diagnosed with cancer. Oh. And to ensure the financial future of his family, he has started cooking crystal meth. This week was Chrissy's son Kit's birthday. My second son, Kit. So it's his birthday today. I like birthdays. I get really fully into them. Because it's special at school on your birthday. Mm. So I normally send them to school with something. And sometimes it's, you know, cupcakes with their face on it going, you know, stupid face. Fairy bread. Something. Don't call me that. (laughs) Sam regaled the time he worked in a bottle shop. You know, I set up my fair share of displays in a bottle shop, by the way. It was a source of pride. How do you decide? Is it the things that are on special? There'd be a promotion. The salesperson would come Mm. in and say, listen, we're pushing this this week. Here's some stuff and here's the... Anyway, it's all in the book, mate. Don't worry about it. (laughs) What an anecdote. (laughs) That chapter of my bottle shop that finishes with me in the pool room trying to shoot myself with a pricing gun. (laughs) We had news of COVID. This is good news. Victoria's latest COVID wave has peaked and hospital numbers have stabilised. Health officials say Victoria's CHO, Brett Sutton, said yesterday there'd been a 10% reduction in case numbers and that's good news. And (laughs) da-da-da-da-da. again on the Tuesday we talked about Kit's birthday and Sam was, well, classic Sam. My second son Kit. So it's his birthday today. That means it's code uh, 11 years. Love you, Kitty. Legs 11. Happy birthday, Kit. Before I I say happy birthday, would he be listening right now? He might be. Mm, Not not 100%. I'm not going to risk it. (laughs) I don't want to waste one. We had some more news on the Neighbours finale. Neighbours has revealed the reasons why Kylie and Jason had limited dialogue in the finale. We counted the words that Kylie uttered as her character Charlene. It was four. Apparently we were wrong. There was five. Home sweet home. Harold, and apparently she said Jane as well. I thought it was six. Home sweet home, I banged Harold. (laughs) We were reminded of one of Sam's favourite songs. Never forget that this tune by Vin Diesel is a banger. 
feel. What, what is he saying? I don't know, but, but I feel it like feels like, like I do. Yeah. It's stupid. No, it's not. Take it away. Yeah, it is. No, it's stupid. It doesn't yeah. even make sense. Yeah, if you're stupid, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday, of course, it was time for Jokes Aren't Funny. What did they call Winnie the Pooh when he died? What did they call Winnie the Pooh when he died? Winnie the dead shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. That mate. was so oh, close. Man. Chrissy gave us some interesting information about children. If your firstborn is a girl, mm. they will look like their dad. Oh, Kylie. she's not listening to this. No, she's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought, good on you. <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful. Titus O'Reilly was on the show, and once again we brought up condoms in the Commonwealth Games. You hear this story every Olympics, every Commonwealth Games. They handed out in the athletes' village condoms and contraception mm-hmm. and all this sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. And so they, they handed out so many that it turned out that the toilets couldn't keep up with the amount being flushed in the toilets and the, and the sewerage. No, the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You're still in our moves. <laughs> Manu Feldell was on the show and Dino had an interesting question that he passed on to Chrissy during the cone of silence. Have you ever done it in the cool room? Maybe. <laughs> It was you a know. sucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Sam Pang arrived in a shirt. I'm enjoying the current view of Sam Pang. Hey, you look like a fake farmer, too. Hello. Oh, it's like a dairy oh, farmer. I cool. think you look wonderful today, actually. Blundstones and a funny. I'm going to milk you like a cow in a minute. Yes. <laughs> I know what that means, by the way. It's good, isn't it? It's hot. Like a rock. To end the week and this cheat sheet, Kate Sobrano did something amazing on Wednesday when she sung Running Up That Hill. And it doesn't hurt me. You want to feel how it feels. Do you want to know? No, it doesn't hurt me. You want to hear about the deal. It's you.